this is David with Point Zero Energy. Today we're going to be talking about solar charge controllers. The purpose of a charge controller is to control how much power goes into the battery so that it doesn't overcharge and burn up your battery. There are two types of charge controllers. One is a pulse width charge controller. This is the most basic. And the second is a maximum power point charge controller. Now both of these charge controllers actually are the same um, rating. They can both charge at 30 amps. Um, so you're probably wondering why the one is so much bigger. Um, it's also a lot more expensive. This one is about $350 and this one's about $20. First of all, I'll cover the pulse width charge controller. Now what this does is essentially if the battery is drained, you run the panel through this and when it's drained it makes a connection. It just basically directly connects the battery up to the solar panels. And it will charge until this battery starts getting full. Once it gets full, it starts the pulse width, which means it disconnects the solar panel and then it connects it. And this connection, as it gets fuller, stays disconnected longer than it's connected. And then eventually it just gets to the point where it just connects for a second and stays disconnected and does that, keeping the battery full, controlling its, its charge. The next charge controller is the maximum power point charge controller. Now you're probably wondering at this point why I'd pay $350 for this one and when I could buy something like that for $20. Well the benefit to this one is just in the name where it says maximum power point. So what it does is it, it takes the maximum power of this solar panel. This panel is rated 120 watts at about 20 volts. But if I hook that up to a 12 volt battery, it's going to pull that voltage down and it may only produce 70 watts, 50 watts. Who knows what it's going to be, but it's not going to be the 120 watts. So what this charge controller does is it actually tracks and finds the maximum power voltage of that panel, pulls that voltage from it, converts it down to your 12 volt battery, and puts that in at a higher amperage. And so the net result is you end up with 120 watts as opposed to maybe 50 watts with this one out of the exact same solar panel. That benefits you because you can have less solar and, and charge your batteries quicker with this charge controller than you can with this one. So this is why we use the maximum power point charge controller in every one of our systems even down to our least expensive system. Now when you're out looking for systems they usually don't tell you if they have a pulse width charge controller because it's a lot cheaper. They'll just tell you they have a certain amount of watts on the system. So you may think if you go out and buy one with 200 watts that it might charge better or have more power than one that has a maximum power point tracker with only say 100 watts. When in, when in reality the smaller system with a maximum power point charger can actually charge your battery faster and more efficiently than the pulse width one with more solar. 